Number one, Kit's bedroom. We have Kit's bed and on top of it there is her reporter and camera set. On the side we have a little desk which we I think got actually at an antique store. There's a K on the side so that you know it's Kit's room, that is her initial, even though her real name is Margaret Mildred. On top we have a candle which I believe we got at Bath and Body Works, I'm not sure. And also a succulent which we got for Christmas. Over to the side we have Kit's laundry set. This is retired and if you have the opportunity to get it, I would highly recommend that you do. It's one of my favorite sets of all time. To add to the attic theme, we have a clothesline with some of Kit's clothing on top. Number two, Samantha and Savannah's room. In Samantha and Savannah's room, we have a lovely bed on the side, which is a retired Samantha bed. We use some fabric, which you can get at your local craft store, to put on the top. And on the side, we have something that came with the hotel package at American Girl. We have some more fabric on the floor. Here is the wardrobe that we have, which they can store the clothes in. On the top, we have a teapot, which we got at an antique store, a succulent that we got for Christmas, and the whole dresser drawer thing, it, it was a gift, and I believe it was from an antique store, or maybe it was just an old item that was found. And again, we have an S on the side, which stands for Samantha and Savannah. The wallpaper is also from a craft store, and it's really cute. It really goes with the theme. I advise that if you're going to be doing wallpaper, you, you use some sort of gift wrap, or even um, just like drawer linings, things like that work really, really well. And you can always cut it down to size, so no worries. Number three is the kitchen. On the side, we have an Our Generation kitchen. I believe it is retired now. On top, we have some of Kit's preserves. To the side, we have a table. This table was one we got for our birthday last year, and the chairs are Our Generation. It's kind of from do two different sets, so don't get confused with that. On the table from Easter, we have a tea set, which we got. And we have in the corner our fridge, which also goes with the Our Generation set kitchen set to the side we have a bitty baby kitchen set and it kind of goes well in the kitchen i think even though the colors do kind of clash because it's a really good cooking area and there's some more space to it and uh, again we have the preserves of kits on the on there on the floor we have some fabric which you can get at your local craft store on the walls we have some contact paper which is meant to go in drawers but it was really really cute and it would look great in the kitchen we thought so that's what we did. Number four is Julie, Kristen, and Molly's room. We have Julie here sleeping on a My Life As bed and down here we have Molly's bed which is Molly and Kristen's bed because we do not have Kristen's bed. To the side we have an Our Generation sewing set. Then we have the red purse from Molly's accessories, Julie's bunny, and an old Easter egg here. And this mat that you see, it was actually um, made by one of us, and I really like it. It took a really long time to make, and it's a unicorn. I really think it goes with the 70s theme and adds a nice touch to the room. A while back, we put some quotes on here, and we didn't want to cause any a sticky thing residues to be left so we didn't take them off i think they're pretty positive and cute there are some shelves that we have things put on and trophies and all sorts of other accessories and then we have julie's vanity table which we got for christmas it actually turns on but we'd like to conserve batteries which is why it's not on right now 
And then here is a Barbie doll head, which you can like do their hair on. And it was actually an ornament since we did not get the real one that they used to sell at American Girl. Number five is Grace and Leah's room. We've already done a room tour on Grace and Leah's room before, but in case you have not seen that, we will put the link in the description and briefly go over what is in her room. We have an R Generation bed with some pillows on it. One of them in the back, the pink one with the stars on it, I actually made using a sewing machine. Then we have three mini dolls, one of which we got for Valentine's Day, one we got for, and two of them we actually got for Christmas. On the side, we have this little nightstand table, which came from My Life As, and it also came with a furniture piece, which is in Abigail and Isabel's room. Then to the side, we have this, which we got at a antique store. Okay, so we have Isabel's ballet bar in the corner. We got that for Christmas of 2014. In the case, we have two Bath & Body Works candles, a clarinet, which we got for Christmas, two doll-sized glasses, uh, the binoculars from the I Spy Birdie set, and three mini doll books, as well as a miniature sample of perfume and some of Grace's accessories. Room number six, and the last room of our tour, is Abigail and Isabel's room. Here is the blue bed, which we got for Christmas of 2014. On the bed, we have many pillows, which we got at min miscellaneous items. Really, any item that looks kind of doll-sized would look really cute on a bed, in case you're wondering what decorating tips we might have for you. On the side, we have a blanket. I feel like it makes it a little bit cozier and warmer. This blanket was knitted by our grandma, and we really treasure it because it's special to us. On the side we have toys. You can get these toys at Target or really anywhere else because any toy really livens up the room. If you can't tell, Abigail and Isabel have the most toys of our dolls just because the room, it had so much vibrant colors to it and we just kept adding things to it as a, as a way of decorating and it really just escalated from there. And some of it just comes from things like the school set. The science set has the science textbook at top. I don't know if you can do that but it says science. And then on the side here, we have a, a um, like, it's, a, it's like a dresser. It's just basically a furniture item. I'm not entirely sure where we got it, but on the top we have a mini Isabel item, which came from a McDonald's thing. I believe it was a special deal during 2014 when they had her. And then there's a Lala Loopsie, two erasers we got at Target, and then a mini harmonica, two mini harmonicas, which we got for Christmas. And this is a pair of glasses for Isabel. In the corner, there's a little tennis ball, in case you were wondering what the green fuzz was all about. Honey is here in the corner, as well as the dog bed, which we got when we got Honey. We have a My Life As desk, which we got for Christmas of this year, which would be 2015. And we have a bunch of craft items or little erasers and things like that on it. Uh, we have a uh, a picture holder on the side and some erasers which we got at a book fair a couple years ago. And the diabetes set, we have a review on that which I can put into the description box so check the description for that. And then a bunch of other mini items. Now this is the item I was talking about going with the dresser as well as the item that the lamp came from and I'm not entirely sure what to call it but it's really cute. We have some toys, an earring tree that we got at the AG store, some Lush sample bottles as well as a OG sunblock in the corner there. On the bottom we have um, some more toys, a My Life As laptop. This is an R Generation gym bag. Here we have some small nail polishes, a small slinky junior, which is why it's called junior, some stuffed animals, a lamp, which I believe came from an R Generation set, an R Generation cam camera, so another mini nail polish, and at the bottom we have some miscellaneous items that came from a variety of places. 
I wanted to cover very briefly before we wrap up the rack and how we made it. We made it very recently, which is why we decided to make a room tour. And we, I believe we used a craft rack or just like another rack that you can get for storage and things like that. And I'm not completely sure where we got it from. It might have been Target. And we'd had it for a while and we kept eyeing it and we thought it would be really, really good for a dollhouse. And we basically just adjusted the levels on it to make three different individual rooms. And we put some cardboard and we're going to be putting some wooden slats on the bottom. And then we decorated the rooms. This dollhouse, on the other hand, was actually from an Ikea rack, and we decorated it all and put it into a room. Another thing I wanted to say real quick was that this is not all of our doll beds. We have Marie Grace's bed as well, but we did not put it in the house, which is why we did not put it in our tour, but we're thinking that pretty soon we're going to be doing a craft where we use trifold boards to make a doll bedroom, so we're probably going to put that up and maybe add that to the room tour when we're done. Thanks for watching!